Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're gonna cut stuff up. So I get a question all the time on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook and on my Instagram. What is the difference between uh, like cheap pickups, you know, that come in a beginner guitar and custom hand wound pickups like we make here at Dylan Talks Tone or any other, you know, pickup builder. Everybody always wants to know the difference. A lot of people on the internet get into all these weird like well, it's more this or less that, and it has this vibe and this mojo and stuff. Whatever, man. The bottom line is there's actually some technical reasons why cheap pickups are different than more expensive ones. And I'm going to show you because today we're going to take this Squire Strat pickup and cut it in half. And I'm going to show you what the difference between this pickup and a high quality pickup is right in the guts, nuts and bolts of what's actually happening. Let's do it. So if we're gonna talk about pickup construction, we wanna go ahead and take some measurements first and discuss what this actually is, what it measures at, and then we're gonna look at how it's constructed and then we're gonna compare that to a custom pickup. So here we have our meter and here we have our cheap pickup. What does this thing measure? 4.3K, what in the world? Now a stock Strat pickup is gonna measure like 5.9, 6.2. I wonder how they're getting away with that. Under five, under four and a half K out of a Strat pickup? That doesn't even make sense. Let's cut it apart and I'll show you why. This is how they keep pickups real cheap. Okay, so we're gonna st we're gonna finish this video in here because it is cold in the shop today. So I've got this thing cut apart. Let's get a nice close up of it and let's figure out what is going on, what the difference between these pickups is. All right, so let's look at what we've got here. Now we've got this is a plastic bobbin that has been cut in half, and you see the steel poles here. You can see the coil there. There's wire on this side, there's wire on that side with the plastic bobbin in the middle. There's a couple things I want you to notice. Well, first of all, look how wide it is from here to here, how much space there is because this is a plastic bobbin with steel stuck down between there. So the magnet, or so the, the coil is actually pretty far from the magnetic poles. What's also very interesting is that the magnetic poles aren't actually magnetic poles because there's actually a ceramic bar magnet down here in the bottom and that is just steel poles that touch that ceramic bar. So what I think we've got here is a way to save money with cheap pickups by putting not very much winding on the coil, 4.6K, and then putting a very much stronger ceramic bar magnet on the bottom to make up for it, but it just doesn't sound very good as compared to a regular kind of a custom normal quality Stratocaster bobbin that has Alnico pole pieces all the way through that then we then wind the coil on top of. Now here's the interesting part. I'm gonna use about 30% more wire on this bobbin than I am on this one. I'm also gonna use magnets that cost about four or five times as much on this bobbin, five to six times as much on this bobbin as I do on this one. So this pickup is so much cheaper to make, but it's weaker, the sound is less accurate, it is less dynamic, and it just does a whole lot less. There's just not a lot going on there in this particular uh, situation. 
Isn't that crazy? So, so drastically different construction from a real cheap pickup to a, a, a better, more expensive pickup. And you can see it in the construction. The material cost is probably six, six times as much for a good pickup. But it really comes through in the sound because when they make these real, real inexpensive pickups, believe it or not, that pickup in a Squire, you could get on eBay or somewhere for three, four dollars, brand new. The thing is, is that it compromises the good traditional sound of a Stratocaster because of the way they have to make it. So they, they compromise on cost with less windings because copper is expensive. So 30% less windings, that saves a lot of money over a lot of Squire guitars. And then they also have to compensate for that with a, a stronger magnet, but a stronger magnet, believe it or not, because it's ceramic can be about a fifth of the cost of Alnico magnets. So it's all this compensation from one thing to the next to save money on a less expensive pickup. The cool part is you can play that guitar and you can learn on it and it's great, but it's not gonna be as dynamic. You're not gonna be able to get the most out of maybe some of your other equipment as you grow. Like if you have a pedal board um, and you start experimenting with different sounds and tones, then that's where it's gonna kinda come into play because that's not gonna be as dynamic as, you know, some other stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. It's pretty cool. Cut it in half, see what's inside. There's an obvious difference and there's an obvious reason why uh, one pickup is cheap and one is expensive. If you have something that you want me to make a video about or cut in half or open up or see what's inside so we can figure out what's really going on with this guitar tone stuff, then put it in the comments below and maybe we'll make a video just for you. Now, let's go back through some of the comments from our previous videos and give you some shout outs to some of our viewers that watch. Okay, so as we get going on our little viewer shout outs here, I wanna mention one thing. Do you remember the Go Guitar app that we did that review on? It was really cool for beginner guitar players. I'll leave a link to the video below because I'd like you to go back and check it out again if you're a beginner guitar player. And then what I want you to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. And then I want you to come back on this video and I want you to tell me about your goals as a beginner guitar player over the next, let's say th three to six months. What are your goals uh, as a beginner guitar player? And here's why. I have five codes to the Go Guitar app, the paid one. I think it's like $9.99 a month. I have five one year memberships that I wanna give to five beginner guitar players that subscribe to this channel. They just gave me the codes yesterday. So do that, subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know what your goals are as a new guitar player in the next three to six months. And maybe we will pick you to have a one year membership to the Go Guitar app. I think it's really, really cool. All right, let's look back through some of our older comments. So I had to kind of reach back a little bit. He, he commented yesterday, but it reaches back to an older video back to one of our Kemper Powerhead videos. Uh, a Kemper Powerhead and a guitar cabinet, not an FRFR speaker. He says, is there a way to downvote this a hundred times? That background music is unforgivable. Okay. If you don't like the same kind of music I like, it's okay, that's fine. This is called Dylan Talks Tone. That means we talk about all kinds of stuff relating to music and you're gonna see more of that as we go. So if you don't like the music that we use, that's okay. There's a little like fast forward button, you can do whatever you want, but we're gonna do what we wanna do because I like this stuff too. And that kind of music is probably some of my favorite, believe it or not, even though I'm a guitar player. So, and then we have to go all the way back to episode 10. This is like four years ago. This video is still getting lots and lots of views. This one, gentleman, whose name is Hosoi Archives. So first of all, Mr. Hosoi Archives, uh, are you a skater from way back in the day like I am? Uh, do you have a bunch of videos that are like old Christian Hosoi videos? You only have five subscribers. I would like to know about this and uh, maybe we'll have to, you know, promote your channel a little bit if you've got some awesome Christian Hosoi videos. I'm just saying, I'm a fan, big fan from, from way back in the day. 
He asks a simple question, do you build custom pickups? Absolutely, we do. And they're available at Dylan Talks Tone, and I would like you to check them out. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Don't forget, we're giving away the Boss Katana Mini uh, in just a few days, so make sure that you go over to the Patreon link that is in the description of this video below and make sure that you enter to win. I also, on Patreon, have also announced the three items that we're gonna give away from for December, which I have not told you here on YouTube. You have to go over there and find it out. So make sure you check that out as well because we have three items going to three different winners in December. Plus this Go Guitar thing, plus this amp. We have all kinds of stuff to give away around here at Dylan Talks Tone and I am very, very excited about it. My name is Dylan, this is Dylan Talks Tone. If you have any questions about any of this kind of stuff or anything, or you just want a shout out on YouTube, make sure you comment. Maybe I will shout you out and we'll talk to you soon.